no touch of gloves as this one gets underway. Fortuna looking for the straight one two down the pipe. Jones does well to avoid it. Fortuna, I think that's Tim Newman I see over in his corner. So coming down with an experienced team. Certainly firing the shots in. Yeah, no love lost between these two. Ricky Fortuna Shoots looking to get down, it to hits action. The take down. Hits the takedown. Callum Jones looking to get back. What's his game like off his back, James? Very good. You see, he's got the underhook there. He's in half guard. But Ricky's, Ricky looks like he's trying to set up a dart there. We've seen these Newport MMA fighters looking for chokes already tonight. Very dangerous with the guillotines and those sorts of chokes. Obviously something the camp's been working on. One thing to note, Callum Jones has incredible, uh, this, this sort of tenacity to just not tap out to jokes. He will go to sleep before he taps. So we could, looks like it's loosening. He's getting up, yep, yeah, he's up. And he seems to have turned the tide around. Now Callum Jones is on top. Fantastic work from Jones. Fortuna does well to get to his feet. They exchange knees. Certainly to me, James, Fortuna looks a bit more physically imposing. Perhaps the larger of the two. And nice sweep. Crowd really getting into this one. The James crowd behind us. Are on their feet. I think right behind us are uh, the Welsh lot, and they are on their feet. Yeah, friendly, frenzied, excuse me, atmosphere here. Sold out. Mount Batten Centre in Portsmouth for Shockin' All 13. He's looking for that same choke, James. He's looking for that Dars choke. Again, Callum Jones is turning out of it. Using his feet up the cage and escapes. He's done well to escape that choke on two occasions now, Callum Jones, but the danger's there, James, isn't it? And, and takes him down, but yeah, he's got to watch out for that Ricky Fortuna's grip around his neck. Now he releases the grip, and Callum Jones is a good, in a good position here to land some vicious ground and pound. That, that shot missed, that shot lands. Jones looking to get busy here. Fortuna. Relentlessly going for the takedown and secures it. Jones with the high guard, looking to work here. Certainly James Fortuna not out of his depth in this contest by any means. No, he's definitely fired up for this fight. Jones doing well now to control the posture. Look, going for hits. an armbar, James. Goes for armbar. I think Ricky's hat elbow is out, so it's not on, but Callum's using it to an advantage to lay some ground and pound there. Fantastic pro featherweight action here at Shockinor 13. Really enjoyable and Fortuna moves to the mount. Bad position here for Callum Jones. Tremendous action by both featherweights. Yeah, Fortuna does look a huge featherweight to me. Obviously nailed the weight cut, did the Newport MMA man. Callum Jones here work, looking to work back to guard. Perhaps looking to use the cage now to stand up. It's Jim O'Wan's Callum Jones. Fortuna relentlessly keeping Callum Jones on bottom position. The whole time he's keeping Callum down though, he's not landing strikes, which, which works in Callum's favour. Yeah. Expending a lot of energy as well, Fortuna. Again, looking for that choke, maybe, James. Gives it up. It's a crown chance for Ricky Fortuna here. Yeah. Callum works back to his feet. Looks to take the back. Well defended by Fortuna. Hits the switch, beautiful. Beautiful switch. Looking to take the back. Looking to cause some damage now at Vicious the end of this round. Pound. Fortuna turtles up, does well in defence. Jones gives up the hook, goes to the body. Maybe looking for the slam, I was just about to say, but elects to drag his man to the floor. But Fortuna relentlessly gets back on that leg. Action 
just about to draw to a close here in this first period. Ricky Fortuna in the grey bad boy shorts, thinking on local man Callum Jones in the white jacko. And again, Fortuna shooting in for the takedown and secures it early on here. He's not going to want to spend too much time on his back again in this round, James. No, that is correct, but the other thing, the important thing to remember here is that the whole time Rico Tune is holding down, he's not landing damage, and it takes a lot to hold down an opponent. So when Callum can keep working back to his feet, that's energy expenditure. Obviously, he's expending, but there's a lot more that Ricky Fortuna is going to be expending, trying to hold him down, and at the same time, not landing any damage. Fortuna now looking at a choke. Got to be very careful in the scrambles against guys with, with slick guillotine chokes. Jones now takes top position. Let's see how effective he can be. Already passes into the half almost. Fortuna trying to stand up. Nice elbow from Callum Jones. Fortuna doing well not to let him get a base really. He's keeping moving, but Jones with a couple He's of scoring the shots there. Sorry, I thought there, I thought uh, Callum Jones was about to maneuver to a Kimura there, but he let it go. And now, Ricky Fortuna back in top position. He's looking to pass the guard there um, to yep, half guard now. Callum Jones looks to shuffle out now. Move towards Fortuna. Let's try and get the stand up or try and look for a little sweep here. Wind up in top position, does well, does Jones. This is really a is a topsy-turvy. Really great back and forth bout, very evenly matched. A great match up here from the Shukanor team. Jones maybe looking for a guillotine of his own. Gives it up. He is being relentless on these takedown attempts as Ricky Fortuna. Beautiful kick a to the beautiful body. Beautiful kick to That's the body. That's really hurt his opponent. Callum Jones looking for the finish. Wow, that was so unorthodox, James. Just a Beautiful kick from the outside, landed right in the sternum, clearly shook Ricky Fortuna. Intelligent striking there, he knew that Ricky Fortuna was a down opponent, so rather than aim the kick to his head, he aimed it to the body. Very intelligent fighting. Yeah, we saw the likes of Anderson Silva land that brutal knee on Chael Sonnen from a similar position. Great thinking from Callum Little Country Jones and almost ended the fight. I mean, Fortuna did well to survive that. He did very well, he looked like he was hurt, but he's... We see how much it's taken out of him. His hands are low now. Has he fully recovered from that shot? Yeah, he looks quite damaged there, Fortuna. He hasn't got the lateral movement he once had. And it's Callum Jones who shoots in now. Action sprung to life here. Midway through the second round at Shokanor. Callum Jones landing a beautiful kick to the body. Maybe that has turned the tide around in his favour here in this featherweight contest. Would you like to see him stand up, James, and, and maybe test Fortuna? I'm just happy to just watch this fight at cage side. This is a tremendous fight. I'm, I'm a fan of the sport myself, so here, just like the fans, I'm going absolutely nuts. Yeah, beautiful piece of matchmaking. Arguably on paper, Jones would be a heavy, heavy favorite. But just goes to show, you can't always call a fight from the paperwork. It's been a very, very close contest, and Callum Jones perhaps looking to take the back here, James? It looks... Uh, what he had there was he had um, Fortuna's arm trapped, but now uh, Ricky's managed to free that arm. And Callum as well, he's attacking that neck. Well, Ricky, Ricky doesn't want Callum in this position because from here he can rain big, big heavy shots down with that ground and pound. I like the way he's been very intelligent here, Jones. Frozen overhand, then an uppercut, then an elbow, now left hands, brutal left hands. Referee David Swan looking on closely. Looks like he's going to see out the end of this round, Ricky Fortuna. Some vicious elbows to see out the end of this round. 
third and final round underway now in a fantastic pro featherweight contest here. It's going to be very interesting to see how Ricky Fortuna handles himself in this last round. It's the first time he's really been on his feet since the body kick, and now he's right back on his back. Callum Jones secures the takedown. Could be pivotal, James. It's a beautiful takedown, and it's in his corner as well. Yeah, we spoke about it before. Again, another mental side of it. You have to listen to the opponent's corner and the things they're saying, and that sometimes plays on a fighter's mind. Yeah. Excellent corner team there for Callum Jones. Brian Adams, usually experienced. And Phil Harris, fresh off his UFC win. And Jones in such a close fight. This is going to be excellent feeling for him to be in top position now. With a lot of time to work here in this third and final round. Just got to watch out for Ricky's hips. You see, Ricky's very dynamic the way he moves those hips to attack for arm bars, triangles. Yeah, we've seen already tonight from the Newport MMA guys. Very slick on the ground, very dangerous with chokes. Callum's Jones looking to pass, excuse me. Yeah, sorry, excuse me. He's doing very well and controlling Ricky here. He needs to free up that head, yeah, and from here he can posture up. He's doing very well at landing calculated strikes and not just going all out in this third round. Yeah, I'm very impressed with the ground and pound from Jones. He's very selective, uses different angles. It's not a simple body-body head type movement. He uses the uppercuts, little overhands, drops the elbows, keeps Fortuna guessing in there. A bit of bruising now on the head of Fortuna. These shots starting to pile up. Just like that, James. Just a little, it's only a little elbow on the inside, but just, just keeps Fortuna guessing. You know, it keeps him thinking. He doesn't know where these little shots are coming from. And then, and then lands a big shot like that. Callum Jones is doing a very good job of squaring Ricky Fortuna up against the cage, making life difficult for him to get up and out. Yeah, Fortuna really struggling here. His fans calling him on behind us. He's brought quite a following as a Newport MMA fighter. But at the moment, it's Jim O1's Callum Jones in control here. I like that, James. He just fires the shots and he knows when the time is right just to wrap that head up and push his man back down again. Exactly. He's not too greedy. He's picking the shots. And then when Fortuna looks to get up and escape, he's pushing him back down and controlling him again. Very clever strategy. To the body and then back to the head. A little cut open now below the right eye of Ricky Fortuna. Ricky Fortuna just almost in survival mode now. Closed guard, just trying to control Jones's posture. And it's easier here. said than done, and now he's got some space to land these shots. This is a bad position for Ricky from here. Callum can, can put a lot more power into those punches. These are more devastating punches being landed, and, and in quick succession as well. And blood coming now from underneath Ricky Fortuna's eyes. Massive amount of blood now going from that cut, and referee Dave Swan's having a close look at it. I think he's going to bring the doctor in to have a look at the cut. Very experienced referee. There is a lot of blood under there, James. I wouldn't be surprised to see this one called off from this position. 